when I was maybe 22 or 23, I, I got my first offer for a book deal. Um, someone had read an article that I'd written and they said, hey, do you want to turn this into a book? And I went to Robert Greene, uh, the author of The 48 Laws of Power. He was my mentor and my friend and my boss. And I said, look, Robert, like I've always wanted to be a writer. Um, should I should I do this? And he said, you're not ready. You have to say no. And this was crushing to me, obviously. Um, I thought he would, would be excited for me. I thought this was my best chance. I thought it was my only chance. And here, this person I admire is telling me not, not to do it. I, I trusted him and I listened. And I, I turned down the deal. Three years later, I wrote my first book about a totally different topic. And then a few years after that, I wrote the book that I'd originally gotten an offer for. And that book has now sold 300,000 copies in 20 something languages. And I know for a fact that if I'd not listened to Robert, that wouldn't have happened. Charlemagne the God uh, talks about a moment in his career. He wanted to be a rapper and he was also doing radio on the side. He was talking about his rap career and his boss said, man, fuck your dreams. You're not gonna be a rapper. You're not that good. You'd think he would have been mad. You'd think it would have crushed him but it was exactly what he needed to hear. It's why he quit his rap career, why he focused on radio, and now he's one of the, the best and biggest radio show hosts in America. And so we need these, you know, we think we should encourage, blindly encourage everyone's dreams, but I, I don't think that's true. In fact, what you need is people to say, fuck your dreams, because that's what challenges you and that's what makes you better. That was, that's what makes you look at yourself objectively. You know, when I turn in my manuscripts, I would love to hear from my editor that it's perfect. You made a brilliant first draft, but it comes back to me covered in red ink and, and X's. And she's my my editor is telling me, fuck your dreams of this being easy. It's going to be way harder than you think. And so the point of this, again, is not to discourage people. It's not to beat them down. It's as Winston Churchill said, it's to catch the illness before it's too late, when there's still time to do something about it. And so you need that kind of feedback. You need to seek out the people who are going to be honest with you, who are going to tell you, fuck your dreams sometimes. who are going to tell you to focus on your strengths, not on your fantasies. And you need to listen to that feedback um, if it is in fact right. And... It's, it's not going to feel good, but it's going to make you the person that you can be, not the person that you think you should be.